if you are a service provider where you provide contract basis services so how you have to sell your contract basis services and how you will be receive tds receivable entry in tally prime i'm going to tell you in this video first of all we will see if you sell your contract service so how you will be record sell invoice so from gateway of tally press we from the right hand side select sales voucher and click on change mode and select accounting invoice as because we are going to sell services so that's why we will select accounting invoice now party account name if party ledger is created so select from the list of ledger if not created so by pressing ctrl c you can create your new party ledger in particular by pressing ctrl c you can create your service sale so here we are selling contract service so you can create your ledger as a contract service under indirect income as because you are going to sell contract services to your client so basically ultimately this is your income source so that's why we will create this ledger under indirect income gst will be applicable and in set alter gst detail press yes and you have to fill all the information related gst like ssc code of contract service and in nature of transaction select not applicable if you are selling this services to interested and if you are selling the services to local state to select sales taxable 18% tax rate will be apply on these services and type of supply select services as because we are going to sell services save this ledger now you can see there is a option in ledger description you can mention here description you are selling which kind of contract basis services let's suppose you are providing electricity contract virtual uh, services to your client so you can mention in description electricity contract work and amount you can fill here uh, let's suppose you have sell 1 lakh plus gst so 1 lakh this is a basic amount and here you have to apply output cgst and output sgst by mistakenly i have selected input gst but you have to select output cgst and output sgst so this is how we will make and we will record our sale entry and after that when party will deduct our tds and we will receive tds amount so we need to book tds receivable entry in tally prime so from here invoice value is 1 lakh 18 thousand and TDS will be deducted on basic value and basic value was 1 lakh rupees so 1 lakh rupees 2% uh, TDS will be deducted under section 194C so by pressing ctrl C let me change the date of the invoice now let me open the ledger of the party here you can see the invoice is 1 lakh 18,000 if you want to calculate your tds amount without calculator so you can use calculator and you can open calculator in tally prime by pressing ctrl and calculator will be open and you can calculate your tds amount basic value is 1 lakh rupees and we will calculate tds amount at the rate of 2 percent so 1 lakh 2 percent will be 2000 so by pressing ctrl a we will add voucher and here we will start booking TDS receivable entry. So we need to create TDS receivable ledger. So I'm going to create here TDS receivable on contract. In bracket you can mention 194C. This is a section under current assets. As because uh, this is not our liability and uh, we are going to book this so that's why we will create under current assets so tds receivable ledger will be debit with 2000 as because 2% 2 of 1 lakh rupees it's 2 lakh so you can open calculator in tally prime by pressing ctrl n and you can use tally prime calculator so 2000 will be debit and party will be credit so this is how you can book TDS receivable entry in Teddy Prime.